Dear CG thinkers, welcome! Yesterday, Fluent 2.1 has been out, and of course, you want to discover, to learn how to use the new features. You are on the right place. No more repair, cloth panel, and of course, the new screw head tool. Let's go to learn five things you have to know about Fluent 2.1. If you use a stretch first bevel, as you know, Fluent adds an edge at the center of the bevel. It's especially useful if you need to make a cut on the bevel. The, the center edge is then a perfect support for the Boolean operation and avoids artifacts. But sometimes we don't want this edge, so use the B key to toggle the activation of the middle edge. This shortcut is also available for the second bevel. Now, the circular array works correctly on 90 degree rotated cylinder. Before the 2.1 version, the normal repair could use only one object as source to fix normal. As of today, there are no more source limits. In this example, I made an object composed by few cylinders. Of course, I want to fix normal artifacts. Everything works as usual. Call the normal repair tool, then merge close vertices, then select the normal source object, S uh, select faces that you want to fix, and press enter. The new thing is, when you recall the tool again, the whole process restart the normal source object is asked again. I zoom to be sure to click on the right object. I select the object source. In this case, it's the cylinder used as Boolean object. Select faces, press enter and kit. You can do this as many times as necessary to correct your object. A new option called Gathering is available in the Clothes Panel setting. To understand how it works, I'm making a basic clothes panel with standard settings. No gathering and negative clothes shrink. If you are not new, this is a well-known result. Now, I activate the gathering option and set the cloth shrink to zero. As you can see, the simulation doesn't start after the face selection validation. Fluent waits you move and scale the selected mesh. Since the fabric mesh is larger than the target area, we will create folds. Someone might think, nice ready, but what's the difference with the previous result? Nothing new. And my answer is, be creative. In fact, the result is the same because I use a homogeneous scaling. The fun happens when we don't use the same scale value for axis. Look at the next example. 
I set X scale to 1.03 and Y scale to 1.4. Interesting, isn't it? Seriously, it's so good! New possibilities are now available. More consistent cloth shape with your model. Last example to let you understand the potential of creativity of this new option. The trick is to use the new coordinates to scale along diagonals. Look at this new result. Play with it and show me other results I haven't through half. It's the major new thing of this update, a new tool for the PowerTrip version. Let's go discover how Fluent continues to help us add more and more details to models with four examples. Select your object, then press F and call the tool. Select the face on which you want to add head of screw, then press Enter. Now, the first thing is to select which head of screw you want. Over the double arrows icon, the menu changes to allow to choose the drive type of the asset. Remember, hold shift to lock the circular menu and avoid the automatic navigation from menu to sub menu. After finding the drive we want, we can choose the head type. Hover what you want and release the click. You will basically adjust the asset by using scale and position. I admit I'm quite proud of the feature. The I.O. buttons allows to automatically cut the object and place the asset inside. Just one click. It's so good. The loop button allows you to place screw heads along the face. As usual, everything is changeable and no choice is final. Now, a common case which need to understand in depth how the tool works. Here, the face isn't a square. If you add screw head, this is the result. Uh, of course, not what we want. You have to know that Fluent makes an inset of the face, then place assets on each inset vertices. The solution to have four objects use the merge distance adjustment. A word about the screw head material. Because of geometry node, you have to set the material in the modifier panel instead of the material panel. In this case, I want to put a screw in each hole. I begin as usual by selecting all faces I want to populate. It's quite obvious, but use the button one per face to place one screw head per face. In this last example, you will learn how to remove some screw head. It's a very common case in hard surface modeling. Slicing and screws to fix the sliced part. Of course, the add-on adds screw heads on each corner. Let's remove some of them. Press Tab to swap to Edit Mode, then press 1 to display vertices and select which you want to remove, then press Shift F.
Everything has been said. Do not forget to check the documentation website to read all the list of changes. YouTube comments aren't the best way to help you, so please join the Discord to find help. I really hope you will like these updates. All ideas are welcome. You are my best way to improve the tool. Have a good day. See you. Bye bye.